Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna make the stuffed pork pot. So let me get ingredients. So for this uh, stuffed pork pot, we're gonna need one pork pot. If you can have the one with the bone or without the boneless, you can use it here. Oh, this one comes with the bone. See, right here. So you're gonna debone it with your bone knife. So first, you're gonna cut right here. So that way it can go in the bone. All the way to the back, where is the bone? Lift, go around. Then in between here, same thing. Go with like this and remove. Okay. So that one is there. And then over here, you're gonna go like lift the bone, go all around like this. Flip. And then over here. Take that out. You have your okay. So just like that. Simple. So that one, and you can stuff it two ways. The classic one, which is, is the stuff uh, loin or pot. You're gonna make holes with your knife. Like right here. Like that. Go all the way to your back. And you can use your steel. You know, so that way have enough room and for the vegetables we're gonna use celery sticks I got two celery sticks cut them in half some asparagus you can use asparagus and I have the rainbow carrots so I got one of each and then I cut them in half and quarters so that way we can uh, stick them in the in the meat so just like this See? And you can do different uh, holes all around. Or we can do like when we do the belly. So I'm gonna do it like that. We're gonna flatten it out. So watch. We're gonna start right here. You can use your fillet knife. So you're gonna hold your meat like this. And we're gonna go thin slice around okay all around like this and we're gonna do the same thing all the way until we have a long piece and then we're gonna roll it but I'm gonna spray my version in Spanish and then show you the next step. So you're gonna roll when you have it like this, so that way you have enough room to work in your and your cutting board. Go to the side, same thing. Make sure this is flat and it's nice all the way around till you get to the end, right here. Same thing, keep rolling so that way you can work with the rest of your meat. Cut the part over here this okay, that's one then this one same thing we're gonna make two rolls That. And then this one here. And then we're gonna marinate and show you the next step. You can stuff it, you can roll it and then stuff it. You're gonna season it with salt pepper to taste. So we're gonna do salt pepper. You can use any seasoning that you like. You can use any raw adobo. The seasonings that they use for the prime rib, you can put them in there, like this one. That's the coriander seeds, the mustard seeds, the allspice pepper, black pepper, cloves, and bay leaves. You can always add a little oregano. 
and also if you want to smoke it you can go ahead and smoke it or you use the smoke flavors this one I got mesquite uh, hickory and pecan so that way we have a smoky flavor or you can use the adobo this one for the adobo I have a recipes in my playlist just go to the playlist adobos I'm gonna put them in the link so that way you can use it but this one has ancho, uh, ancho peppers, guajillo, morita and one habanero okay but you can use any seasoning that you like so salt pepper all around and also you can use uh, fresh herbs like rosemary, thyme, sage, oregano you can chop it up and put them in here I'm gonna go grab some of the uh, fresh herbs and show you next step so I'm gonna use my fresh herbs I got some uh, rosemary, thyme, sage and fresh oregano if you don't find these uh, fresh herbs just use the dry ones okay and then I'm just gonna add it all over to your uh, uh, so oregano same thing some of the fresh and then your uh, prime rib uh, spices so coriander, mustard seeds, uh, black pepper and the all spice black pepper okay and then we're gonna put your vegetables like this so celery carrots you can put garlic fresh garlic in there if you like so that way you have some uh, aromatics and we're gonna roll it okay so I'm gonna layer all my vegetables and then we're gonna come back and show you how we're gonna roll, uh, tie it with the butcher's tie, twine this one okay so now that you have your loin like this or your pork pot you can use the belly also so now you're gonna roll the other way because we have, we have the fat over here so we want that on top okay. so we start from here roll, tie, roll, tie Okay, roll and tie. And then over here we didn't have enough as adobo. Now it's time to add some adobo. Roll. Adobo. Okay. And just keep rolling. Like that. As you roll you put the adobo so that way you don't have all the mess in the bottom and your cutting board. So this let's see how we have over here the, the fat we want that on top so that way it's gonna render and it's gonna cook our loin so now we're gonna season it lightly season and then we're gonna tie it so I'm gonna bring my twine so that way I can uh, tie it and then season it the right way so for when you have your twine, you're gonna need about two, two meters, okay? So you're gonna grab it and make, you're gonna tie it first right here. Make a knot and tie it, nice and tight. And then you're gonna do the loop, so up, swing, and then you're gonna pass it down, like this, right here, okay? So this one, hold it and tie, this one. Hold, tie, hold, tie, okay? This is the butcher's knot. So when you do your force meats, your cure meats, prosciutto, salami, mortadella, sopresatas, anything that needs to be cured, that's what they use. Or you can buy the net, you can use the net. But if you have the twine, go ahead and use the twine. Same thing, all around, tight, and start all over. So now you go over here, push and pull. Okay. Same here. Now you're gonna go in between. So you're gonna be like kneading. So this one on top, fold it, bring it back. Again. like you're kneading okay. like that yeah. 
fold it and you finish it right here. Just tie it off. Tie it and ready to be roasted. So now you can finish it seasoning, you know, put more adobo, the rest of the seasoning, and then you're gonna need a pan with the rack so that way we can put it here and put them in the oven. So I'll come back and show you next step. Take out my pork pot and we're gonna take it out and see how it came out. Okay, so make sure you let it rest a little bit before you open it. I just need two minutes. And now we're gonna unwrap it. Okay, as you can see, plastic film is still here. I'm gonna let it uh, steam out and then come back and take it out. So after you have your uh, pork, you're gonna let it rest and like we say, you're gonna unwrap it. See, we let it rest a little bit. And here you have your plastic film. So you have your pork meat over here resting. Now you're gonna take out your juice. You know, remove the rack and everything. Now we're gonna strain our juice. So you take out your juices. You can see this is all fat, all oil. Yeah. You're gonna remove it. It's just oil. So this one, take it out to the side. You don't want that. You can always add some uh, pieces of ice so that way the fat coagulates and then you can remove it easier. And then you're gonna bring it to boil, reduce into half or demi. What I did, I cut the end of my, uh, my twine over here. And then I start wrapping it like this. So that way, I'm gonna lift and untie. See, so remember we used to do the lift and uh, tie. Now we're gonna untie it, so that way we have the crispy bacon sitting there. Watch, cut, move to the side. Voila. Okay, like I was saying. So if you want it. You know, make it more crispy, just finish it in the oven. Just a little bit more. But this is done. Alright? So you got your chunks, you got your sauce boiling, and then we're gonna cut it. You let it rest, now you can cut it. You're gonna lose the first uh, piece, which is gonna be the end cut. So that one is always, you know, a loss. <clears throat> you leave it to the side, and that's gonna be your snack for later. And then this one you can serve it individually or family style. So if you're gonna serve it individually, one portion, you use your fillet knife, like that. So, half an inch. Okay, that's gonna be one portion. But you have to let it rest. <clears throat> so that way, it doesn't um, break. Okay, like that. And then if you have any mashed potatoes, any vegetables, any starch, you're gonna put them there. And garnish it however you want. <clears throat> Bring them in too. Now you, you have your demi sauce working. So now you're gonna remove all this fat. See, that's fat. In the meantime, you're gonna have a saute pan, hot. We're gonna caramelize our pineapple and use it for our sauce. Okay. So we're gonna let it caramelize and use just a little fat. Okay, now you're gonna attach the stock and you're gonna reduce it almost to all sec, okay? Casi seco, for completo. And we're gonna play. You have your uh, pork loin over here, or your pork pot. Now you're just missing your starch. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna plate it with some mashed potatoes, okay? You can pipe it if you want. It could be risotto, it could be polenta, anything you want. So you got your pork ready here, and you got your sauce. <clears throat> so now, we're gonna plate it. You can plate it however you want. Okay, it's gonna be up to you. Classic, let's go classic. Mash. Maybe some asparagus tips at the end. Whatever you want to, however you want to play, it's up to you. Okay. See, you're gonna last on top. 
To finish, you're gonna put one tablespoon of butter, fresh uh, thyme. This one I just cut it. And it's just gonna bring it to boil. Pour your uh, sauce on top, okay? okay? So now that you have your sauce, see, put the butter, nice and creamy. Okay, now, I'm gonna finish it like this. Some of the pineapple sauce on top. And your fresh thyme. Oof, look at that. Beautiful, nicely done. And like I said, you wanna put some more vegetables, go ahead and do it. But you got your vegetables, you got your starch, you got everything you need. So hopefully you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and like, share the videos, and enjoy. Look at this, oof, papa. Watch. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys. Mm -hmm.